If you're like me and you frequent the Indie Head subreddit, you listen to a lot of indie music, you're a big underground guy, you'd probably know this guy called Sufjan Stevens. Everyone knows Sufjan Stevens. It's fucking That's My Jam Stevens. It's the Call Me By Your Name guy. It's the I'm gonna make 50 albums about each state of America, but only actually make two guys. He's the fucking Let Me Make a Mediocre Album About Our Solar System guy. <laughs> Planetarium is actually pretty good. But what you didn't know about this Sufjan Stevens guy, or maybe you probably did, I don't know. I didn't know about this. Back in 2014, he teamed up with an artist, two artists in fact, Serengeti, this rapper guy, and this other electronic artist named Sunlux. They teamed up and they created a project called S slash S slash S. But after realizing that that name wasn't the best name for their project, they decided to change their name to Sisyphus, you know, like the, the Andrew Bird song. Sisyphus. They created this rap album that is so fucking good. The Sisyphus self-titled album is the best rap album that I've heard in a long time. And I want to talk about it, and I'm going to talk about it. So strap up, listen up, and get excited. Picture this. I was driving in my car, listening to Discover Weekly on Spotify. Discover Weekly doesn't have a lot of good songs that they like to give you. There's, some, there's a lot of mediocre songs, a lot of unforgettable songs, but sometimes you get some gems in there. I was driving along, and... All of a sudden, I hear this nice, punchy rap beat, and this guy going, If you feel like you just can't stop. <laughs> and I was immediately hooked, man. I was like, oh, this is okay. I feel like that. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it gets to the chorus, and the chorus brings in these nice little scents, and it's like, you gotta calm it down. Calm it down. By the, second, by the second verse, I was already fucking hooked on this song. I, I wanted to sing along, but I didn't know the lyrics of the song, so I was just kind of repeating whatever Serengeti said, like, right after he said it. Fuck shit up! <laughs> Fuck shit up! It was good, man. I enjoyed it. I was getting into this. I was like, I feel like that, man! And then the second chorus comes. You know, you got some extra stuff getting thrown into the mix. And then all of a sudden, it stops. And then they bring in this beautiful, beautiful synth. And then this beautiful, beautiful Sufjan Stevens vocals. And then my heart, it sank, man. I fucking loved it, man. <laughs> they bring in all these extra elements in the song that you weren't expecting. And then there's this really cool part. I really want to highlight this part because this part's really cool. You hear that? <laughs> so, I was immediately hooked on the Sisyph these Sisyphus guys. I, at the time, I didn't know that these were, uh, this was Suf. I didn't know this was Mr. Sufman, Sufian. But then I found it out, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna listen to more of these guys. I listened to a song called Alcohol. Dude. Dude. The beat in Alcohol, it starts off with this really fucking... Let me play it for you. I am my mother's son. I am my mother's son. Shit. So he's got that, this really cool rap going on throughout the, the, the first half of the song. And then there's this really cool instrumental part that like has all these really cool synths, you know? It's like, you're fucking going crazy. And then Sufjan Stevens comes in at the end and he starts singing about his father or something like that. And that's the album closer. So at this point, I listened to the album opener and then I listened to the album closer. And I was like, all right, what happens in between those? So then I went through and I listened to the rest of the album and man, I loved it, man. There's a lot of really good songs in here. I want to talk about Rhythm of Devotion before I talk about the rest of the album because this is also another song that I listened to that blew my mind, man. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the hi-hats in Rhythm of Devotion, please? Because those hi-hats are beautiful. The hi-hats are so good. This is how I want to touch you. With an open heart. Serengeti's rapping at the beginning of Rhythm and Devotion is really fucking cool. I really enjoy listening to them. I don't care if you've been to Detroit. I don't care if you've been to LA. I'll be right, right where you stand. <laughs> and he gets like really fucking hyped. He's like, I don't give no shit. I don't give no shit. I don't give no shit. <laughs> and then it turns into this, this really cool sound of like, BOOM! Wow! <laughs> if anyone knows how to get that drum sound, please let me know because that those drums sound so fucking sick, man. The chorus, you know, when the, the robot guy, the Daft Punk guy goes like, I can feel the rhythm of your heart. It's not actually Daft Punk, but like it, sound, it reminds me a lot about Daft Punk. Sufjan in this album, I, he has, I can only think about calling them Suf moments because that's what they are. They're his Suf moments in the album. 
I'm talking about, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Take Me, I'm talking about I Won't Be Afraid, and Hardly Hanging On. All, all three of those Soof moments, man, they're good. Take Me took me a little, uh, a couple listens. I wasn't too big into Take Me when I first listened to it, but then I listened to it more, and now it took me away. It can take you away, too. And then I Won't Be Afraid has the really cool drum sound again that I really want to figure out how to get. So if anyone, I think it might just be like a shit ton of reverb or something, but if anyone knows how to get that sound, let me know. There's also this really cool song on this album called Lion Share. It's one of my favorite songs off this album because it's so fucking dancey, bro. I just want to keep moving to it. I just want to keep fucking dance, dance with the booty in your pants. Dance, dance, booty in your pants. He's got this really cool, this really cool story about these bank robbers that are going out and they're fucking robbing banks. They got these dances with the booties. They got the booty in the pants. They got the money in the pants. They got the fucking dances in the pants. The bass line in Lion's Share is really sick. And there's this really cool guitar riff. This really cool guitar line in Lion's Share that's really sick. It's just really fucking sick, man. Also, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Hold on. I love how Soof, Mr. Subaru Stevens, just couldn't help but put flutes. If you're gonna have Soof on Stevens album, you gotta have flutes in it. I can just, it's funny, cause I, I can just picture fucking Soofy on Stevens walking into the studio with his flute. And he's like, hey guys, I brought the flutes. Oh, Soof, we said, uh, we said no flutes, man. Y you guys said no flutes? Yeah, we, we said, uh, we said, we said no flutes. Oh, I thought, I thought you guys said more flutes. That's. That's my bad. Um, well, I got these flutes here. Like, what, what? What could we do with them? Well, I mean, I guess we could put them in a song. Fuck yeah! I already got the song written. Let's do it. And that's how the flutes got into my oh my. Also, really love the transition from uh, uh, the the fuck the the run from dishes in the sink to hardly hanging on because it transitions really smoothly and it's beautiful, and then it transitions smoothly and beautiful into. <laughs> Overall, I have no complaints about it. I the only, my only complaint about this album is the fact that it took me six years to figure out that it was actually a thing. Like, where was I back in 2014? I was probably, that was like back when I was listening to Green Day, dude. I was fucking young. So yeah, this album was really cool. If you haven't checked it out yet, if you haven't listened to it, and you're a fan of Sufjan Stevens, or Sunlux, or Serengeti, I highly recommend that you guys give this album a listen because it's beautiful, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. If you love one of those guys, you're gonna love all three of these guys together. That's just how it works. Uh, yeah, so that's basically it. That's all I wanted to talk about. I just wanted to talk about a little, uh, Sisyphus. Little, 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 little collab between the three of the guys. Three of the boys. Three of the guys. Three of the boys. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna go listen to the new Phoebe Bridgers album because that came out today. Look forward to my review on the new Phoebe Bridgers album. Haha. <laughs> little uh, foreshadowing. <laughs>